Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and today I want to show you the holy grail of European PlayStation 1 collectors when it goes for retail games. This you see before you is a Grand Theft Auto game, but this game is considered one of the rarest PlayStation games. Who would have thought that, right? So this is Grand Theft Auto Double Feature and this only got released in Australia and New Zealand and to this day only a dozen of copies have been found. The reason why this is so scarce, why there were only so few of these released, no one knows. But they are rare and they're considered to be at least in the top three of rarest PAL games. I was really lucky to pick one of these up by the way. I had a fellow collector who had one double and uh, he traded it to me. So what it has, it has Grand Theft Auto and the GTA Mission Pack London 1996, uh, 69 actually. Uh, GTA 1, it's a really famous game, I really liked it. That's actually the only GTA I did like. Uh, Grand Theft Auto After Part 2 never really did anything for me. I don't like those sandbox type of games. But um, this one I did like. So what's inside? It looks strange, but this is how it's supposed to be. This GTA has to be the platinum version and it has to come in one of these simple uh, paper sleeves. So the GTA London manual. This is actually not a standalone game. You need the original Grand Theft Auto to play it. And um, it has some extra missions, and it's set in London in the 1960s. And it's actually a nice little extra. It has a lot of extra cars, a lot of extra missions, extra guns, etc. And a cool story, if I remember correctly. Then there's a poster for GTA London small poster actually. It's only about uh, normal paper size. Don't mess. That's just all he says, don't mess. Then it comes with a map of GTA 1 which is supposed to come with the normal platinum version of uh, Grand Theft Auto 1 as well. And this is the map of Liberty City. And I believe in one of the later GTAs they used Liberty City again. Liberty City Stories or something like that. And this is San Andreas, which is of course famous from the later GTA San Andreas game. Which was one of the best selling games ever and I really thought it was horrible. But I'm not like every gamer apparently. This is Vice City, that's also a map. And I believe that's also a GTA game, GTA Vice City. And on the other side there's a uh, Really cool, old school Grand Theft Auto poster. Supposed to look like a 30s or 40s movie. Then there's the manual for Grand Theft Auto 1. Again, platinum like it's supposed to be. I really don't like platinum games and I have as few as possible in my collection. But some sets like the Metal Gear Solid Limited a Premium Pack and this one just come with platinum games. Or actually not the Metal Gear Premium Pack but the Metal Gear Double Pack and then you need to have them in your collection. And the last one is the GTA London game disc. So in a normal case that's three posters, two manuals and two discs which is quite a lot so it's actually quite heavy and quite packed tightly but it's a cool set especially if you're a collector because getting this one as a non-collector just to have GTA that's really that's really nonsense because you pay at least uh, 50 to 100 times more for this than for a normal GTA copy. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is probably one of the games that will be really valuable in the next 10 years if PlayStation Collecting picks up. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong. So be sure to check out my channel and sign up for YouTube. Uh, Facebook, I mean, sorry. Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash drretromd, so Dr. Retro MD. And uh, if you sign up there, you'll be sure to be up to date on any of the new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.